Hello there folks, Nathan here. Hope you're all well and welcome back to food and drink reviews here on my channel. Yes, now the following few reviews weren't uh, planned, but uh, well, the opportunity has arisen and I've had to accept it. Now, I will tell you that uh, over the course of the next few days, possibly over the course of the weekend um, or into next week, there's going to be a couple of beverage reviews coming up, uh, all based on this brand, which is Calypso. Uh, now, if we, if you think back to my previous videos I've done, I have actually reviewed two of these already. Uh, those flavours were the Ocean Blue Lemonade and the Strawberry Lemonade. And I was in the shop today. I had to go over to get... Uh, a little bit of shopping just to tide me over and uh, I noticed that they had four new flavors of this Calypso so I was like I can't pass it up I've got to I've got to get them and I've got to review them because I'm forever seeing these on TikTok uh, like people ordering them or people trying them so I thought well, I've got to get them and see what they're like so this is a uh, I can't remember which one did we go for is it the island wave lemonade okay I don't know what this is going to be like it's a, a nice purplish color this one so uh, let's have a, a little look at it uh, Calypso taste of the what does that say Taste of the Islands, I think. And this one is the Island Wave Lemonade. I'm guessing lemon and passion fruit. Uh, with, perhaps with a bit of pineapple as well, maybe? That's definitely a passion fruit. Or is it a grapefruit? I really don't know. Shake well, it says. So, I'll do that now. <sighs> give that a little bit of a shake and then we'll let it settle while we just have a look at the bottle there we go all right let's see what's on the back of it uh, nutritional information a little bit of uh, information there I believe it says that on all of the bottles correct me if I'm wrong so yeah not an awful lot to uh, to show, I love how the uh, the thing there, the the bottle cap is a uh, a lemon slice. So it's got this plastic sealant around it. So it it would prove beneficial if I actually uh, took that off because we won't be able to get. There we go. Does it say anything on there? Doesn't look like it does. Taste of the islands. And uh, I've got a, a glass off to the side. So I'll do the pouring off camera. So I've got a nice steady service. So with these, you just twist. Oh, now that's got a nice smell to it already. There we go. Only going to put a little bit in because obviously I need to use, save the rest, take a picture of the, the rest of the bottle after I've done this to use as a thumbnail. Just going to give that a little swirl round. So there we go. There it is in the glass. It's actually darker on camera than it than it is. I'm trying to do my best with the lighting. I've got my uh, blinds open. I've got my big light on. I've got my lamp on. Uh, but... And uh, you may be able to hear very slightly the sound of uh, a petrol mower. They're doing some uh, maintenance outside. So yeah, very very nice colour. Uh, I would say this is a bit like a violet. Can you imagine a violet? A violety colour and it's showing up as uh, a sort of um, deep lilac or like a sort of purple on camera 
it looks very nice so uh, I'm a little bit thirsty so I'm uh, looking forward to trying it so uh, I think we better get down to it don't you right then here we go then so first taste of the Calypso Island Wave Why well, kidding when I said I was thirsty? Hmm. Now that definitely had a flavour to it. That certainly had a flavour to it. Hmm. Can't just can't describe it. The lemon zest is in there. It's very refreshing. Uh, it's not fizzy either. That one I found was quite still. Well, they they all are really quite still. They're not really fizzy. But um, yeah, that was very smooth. That went down really nice, and as you could tell, I was really thirsty. I just gulped that down in one. But um, very interesting flavour. Uh, passion fruit is quite an in, uh, quite a nice. It's got quite a nice flavour to it. I've never had a real passion fruit, but I've had like passion fruit flavoured things before, or things with passion fruit in them, and uh, it is a nice, sweet, fresh sort of flavour. And I think it complements the lemon zest really nicely on this. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to trying the rest of them that I've got now, but I'm not going to tell you what they are. And obviously we're only going to do them maybe one day at a time just to stretch the videos out a little bit. But you can see there, those were the flavours. Lemon and passion fruit. I think it's passion fruit. I think grapefruit's orange, isn't it? With like a reddish sort of centre. I think that's grapefruit. So this would be passion fruit, I believe. But yes, on the whole, you know, I'm not going to uh, beat around the bush. It was very, very pleasant. A very nice flavour. It's not overly sweet. It's not overly sour. Um, I presume these would taste better chilled. Um they were refrigerated in the shop um but uh i would recommend maybe keeping them refrigerated for a a few hours before trying them or even have them with some ice cubes i could have tried that actually never thought i never thought but hey ho it's still very nice and i'm glad i've been able to try the uh try this particular flavor and I look forward to trying the next one. So I think we're going to leave that one there, folks. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, preferably a comment on what I should try and review next, whether it be a beverage, uh, rather an alcoholic or non-alcoholic beverage, or a, a snack, a food, you know, crisps chocolate sweets hard candy soft candy anything like that um you know let me know and if i haven't tried them before or if i can source them then i will of course give them a go but in the meantime until the next video whenever that may be i don't know now i might have a chilled out weekend and then do the rest next week i don't know but until the next one Stay safe, stay strong, and as Grandad Murray used to say, stay happy, and I will bid you farewell. <laughs>